know, I get in trouble when I ask you questions that you don't know anything about, but... Well, I get told I don't know anything about anything, I should just stick to bodybuilding, yeah. shouldn't I? <laughs> this one's from Andrew Lack. Hey Sam, can you ask Lee if he's heard about Nick Strength and Power's video on him? Do you know Nick Strength and Power? Well, what's, what's the video about? I might have seen the video, but maybe I haven't. I think Lee would enjoy it. Oh. Not speaking on behalf of the man, but it's pretty positive. And he's trying to fund a GoFundMe to get the statue of Lee built. I know um, Gary Wright started that up. Okay, oh. I know Gary Wright was the one who originally started the GoFundMe, but I think Nick's strength and power, he's the one that I think brought my Iron Man trophy, if it's the same one. Yeah, right. And now he's going to sell it. He brought it off me, but now he's got it up for sale and he's going to use some of that money to go towards the statue. And where's the statue going to get built? I'm not sure where it's going to get built, but they're looking for a place to put it. Yeah, right. Maybe like a public toilet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it'd have to be, I said, if you're going to put up a statue like that, you'd have to be in front of a world gym or something. You know, couldn't just go to the council and say, hey, yeah, yeah. up here at Nobby's Beach or yeah. you know, Bar Beach, Lee walked around these beaches all the time, get ready for the universe. Can we put up this statue up here at the beach? be a good place for the birds to shit, I guess. But, yeah, yeah I think I did hear it. Yeah, he... um. He's always had some positive things to say. I think that's the guy he's talking about, so... Yeah, but yeah, there is a GoFundMe page for this statue, so... I'm not sure. I think they want to get made out of bronze, but... Depending how much money they make, it could be aluminium. Well, I think they're pretty could cheap. Be, yeah, you can get them done in China. Be, no, yeah. Could be made out of alfoil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could be just made out of wire. Yeah, 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 paper mache. <laughs> is anyone good at bending coat hangers? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's um, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that was, yeah. yeah, Gary Wright approached me about it. He what he's put up a thing about. It. Yeah, he's the one that started that. So I find that flattering or a bit embarrassing or a bit whatever because I can't see why anyone would want a statue of me. Anyway. Well, uh, <laughs> on top uh, of my grave. Yeah, yeah <laughs> well. Um, We'll build it, and when you die, we're going to make it like in the graveyard. People can come there and pay homage. <laughs> I was going to say, like the, um, you know, the IFBB might um, um, get behind it and build mm -hmm. one and exactly. take it to a rifle range and maybe take shots put in, at it. Maybe we can put it in Sean Ray's front yard <laughs> in the fountain. Yeah, it might be like one of those, um, what was it, the one they had of Rocky Next to in Philadelphia? Remember the one at the top of the stairs that yeah. Rocky had? Yeah, so something like that, yeah. But I think it would have to go near a gym somewhere, wouldn't it be any place for it, really? Well, that'd be, yeah. yeah, be interesting. Yeah, where uh, I don't know what the GoFundMe page is up to yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. Yeah. If you want on. this statue built, go to the. I don't know the address of the GoFundMe page, but it's for a Lee Priest statue, life size. So it wouldn't be too much material in building it then if it's life size. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not like it's six foot. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and um, uh, what if if you had your choice of. What what pose? I think they're talking about the myth pose. Myth, yeah, not the um the the, the Kentucky um <laughs> before shot. Hold the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barely sticking out. Yeah. Well, it is Australia. That probably, <laughs> that probably would be accepted more, yeah. wouldn't it? The yeah. Kentucky here and a beer in this hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's greatest bodybuilder. Yeah. I guess if I was a rugby player, I'd have my rugby jersey on and going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me holding the finger powder. Yeah, well, that's that's uh, seems to be all the rage <laughs> now. Even the even the um, the coaches the, and the no, no, all the the, the pre well, you know, he was the, the CEO of the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, had he a, got caught too. He had a blast in the old bugle. I know. But you must imagine look on their faces when they saw the news of that girl getting caught with those headphones. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there goes the weekend party. <laughs> well, for, you have to tell the American viewers about um. Cassie. That, that poor young lass. They were oh, yeah, Cassie was coming back from... Where was she coming back Columbia. from? Columbia. Columbia, yeah. Just went on a trip to Columbia and that and got caught with like 15 pair of headphones and they were found to be full of cocaine. It was like six kilos of cocaine. She was smuggling back, but she says she didn't know about it. But, but now there's more things about her. She's a prostitute. <laughs> she was this, she's that and everything else. But the whole thing is 
a lot of Australian rugby players are all being busted lately on cocaine, doing cocaine, getting caught snorting cocaine on security cameras at clubs and stuff like that. So, Oh, the funniest part of that story with that girl was her excuse was she was getting the headphones in Colombia oh, for, for a wedding. For, for a wedding, yeah. and I thought... She hasn't heard of eBay. <laughs> yeah, or... Or, or, um, or Wish. Or... Um, JB Hi-Fi might have given her a good deal. Whenever I want to go for um, electrical goods, Colombia is the first place oh, I think of. Yeah. <laughs> China, Colombia, yeah, yeah, America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do I go to Colombia for? Hmm. What, what possibly could I get for my wedding from Colombia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was planning a big wedding all the <laughs> I need some icing for the cake. cake yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, quite a few headphones. That's what, like I said, you wouldn't even bring them back. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you go overseas, you might. I mean, when I used to go to America, people knew you were going, like, hey, Lee, can you bring me back a pair of Nikes? Can yeah. you bring them? So you'd get a few different orders, but it wouldn't be like I'd be bringing back 20 pair of Nikes. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, all your shoes are filled with cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's foot powder. <laughs> and also, too. That's Dr. Scholl's. <laughs> didn't she know they give you free headphones on the planes? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> These weren't special headphones. Uh, <laughs> nicely wrapped. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, and have you noticed too her photos of when she's been busted and she's standing there? She was a personal trainer too, they said. Have yeah. you seen like a flabby arms and a big hips, but yet you see the pictures of her on Instagram and stuff, it's all. Yeah, <laughs> she's probably off season. Mm-hmm. And then you saw that picture of her from the prostitute parlor in the Nicholas yeah. Show. Yeah, someone would have been disappointed when they turned up. <laughs> well, that was 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that was when I was on cocaine. I've let myself go. So she's just bringing it back to go back on the diet. She's bringing yeah, it back. yeah. Maybe she's just bringing it back for her clients yeah. to get in shape. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, what is this? It's headphones for the gym and pre workout. Yeah. yeah, I asked for fat burners. <laughs> yeah. It's pre workout. <laughs> Creatine. No, that's a funny one. Now, speaking of that, too, we've got what's her name? I just don't know why I don't leave her alone. Here's Chappelle Corby coming back from. And she's due to come back in the next few days, and she can't even get out of the hotel because just the media circus. Yeah, okay. I'm like, okay, we've heard the story, we've yeah. heard the family side, we know this and know that, whether she was set up or not. It's like, just let her come back and get back to normal yeah, life. Yeah. We don't need to see her going to the beach, riding her scooter home, riding the scooter down. Like the media's just hounding her. It's like yeah. old news. She's done a time in jail. Yeah. Now let her get on with her life. Just leave the woman alone. Who cares? You know. That sort of thing would drive her over the edge. <laughs> like, that, that's here from a sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been pretty quiet. <laughs> Weren't they models or into modelling? Uh, yeah, they so. all are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram models. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I can't believe the way the media still hounds.